Season 3 is approaching fast and tensions are rising. And while this might not be the season that Blizzard wins back the hearts of the community, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Let's have a look. Hey guys, I'm Dimsys from the Omnic Post. As I've seen it in multiple of my videos, these first few months of Overwatch 2 have been rough. And while Overwatch probably isn't doing too bad when it comes to the numbers, the general perception of the game is not as positive as it was back at the release of Overwatch 1. It just means that the reality is not matching the expectations. It is like going to your favorite restaurant and ordering your favorite dish. But the new chef is f***ing it up. You'll end up eating it, but you won't be able to stop yourself from making some of those disappointment noises while you're eating it. I have no idea why so many of my metaphors involve food, but it is what it is. Anyways, we are approaching the third season of Overwatch 2, and it is going to be the first season without a hero release. Let's look at it this way. It leaves more room for new features, for different types of features. I recently did two videos about what you can expect for season 3. Go check them out, I'll leave the links below. And while we know that they will be tuning some of the rewards, the progression system, competitive, I do think we need to manage our expectations. And I'm not saying that because I think that they do not care, or that they don't have any big plans, that they're not willing to do any changes. I'm saying that because not enough time has passed. The community seems to think differently, but a lot has happened at Blizzard since the release of Overwatch 2 back in October. Apart from the still ongoing corporate chaos, on which I will be doing a video pretty soon, so stay tuned, were also some key team members that left. Some new people joined in. The leadership of that team was shifted dramatically, both with people moving up internally and some high profile hires on key positions. Stuff like that will slow you down. There's no way around it. Look at Alec Dawson, for instance. He is the new lead hero designer for Overwatch. Now, before he joined the team, Alec was working on Hearthstone. So he had to go from balancing cards to balancing heroes. And I'm convinced that he's very talented and that he already played a lot of Overwatch before he joined the team. But still, it takes time for any designer, let alone the lead designer, to integrate in a team and roll at maximum capacity. And same goes for all the other new people in the team. But the good news is that with every day that passes, that team becomes better, faster, stronger. That sounds like it would make a great title for a song. Now I have to be honest, in the last few months there have definitely been moments that I was worried. So many people had left and the silence from the team was deafening. But I feel something has shifted. And it's not only my boxer shorts. For me personally, that sense of shifting actually started with Jaren News first blog post on the official website. He is the new executive producer for the Overwatch team. And let me tell you, the role of a producer should not be underestimated. They usually are not really front and center, but they are really important. See, the general manager in the case of this team is the captain. He's the big boss. The executive producer is actually the first mate. They are at the center of that team, and they need to get all the heads in the same direction. That is not easy, especially in a big team like that. There's over 200 people. And Jared's first blog post surprised me because it had a very different tone. Very different from anything I've heard from Blizzard before. And I mean that in a good sense. While I was reading Jed's blog post, I felt like he was off the leash. I mean, that kind of sounds like they're all in prison, but they do get a lot of PR training, which means a lot of restrictions. But Jared sounded very honest, open, transparent. And that is exactly what I had been hoping for for years now. I actually kind of had given up hope that that would be happening in the Overwatch team, or in Blizzard in general. And soon after that blog post, we saw Jared and some of the other team members talking to us on Twitter. And they were talking to us outside of the usual formats like a Q&A. They were just replying to tweets, giving some answers. I do need to add something. They cannot answer every single question. I've seen some people getting frustrated about that. I'm pretty sure they read everything. They just also have a job, personal life, and some of the questions keep coming back over and over again. But all in all, these are all really good signs. On top of that, all of them have admitted that they need to work on their communication. Eric Keller did a blog post where he kind of explained some things that would be coming and they all kind of chimed in and made the promise that this is just the beginning. It's only gonna get better than that one blog post. And we've heard them make promises before, but not like this. It was one thing that reinstated my trust, my confidence in the team almost instantly. It made me believe that they are actually changing and that we might be okay in the end. It was a reply on a tweet. Someone on Twitter asked Jared if we would be getting a tournament mode and some other features. And Jared replied that there are enough foundational issues to address. And I think that features like this, if we were to do them, would come much later down the road. Now you might read this and think that it is bad news. We're not getting those features or we're getting them later. But... Oh no! But it actually is great news. It means that they are reshaping their roadmap. 
that they're going back to the basics to make sure that everything works according to our expectations before piling on more stuff. And a good game always starts with a good foundation. That's why Overwatch 1 worked. And then setting aside features that might be easy PR, that in the first instance might make it easier to sell to a broader community, to get the basics right as soon as possible. That is the thing that is going to get Overwatch back on top. But the thing is, it is going to take time. So what I said earlier, make sure to lower your expectations for now. But one day we'll be able to laugh about all of this. But until then, I'm keeping an eye on you, Blizzard. Now tell me, how are you looking forward to the future of Overwatch? And if you were a captain, what would you name your book? Let me know in the comments. Join me during my streams on Twitch.tv slash DMCTV. And make sure to subscribe for more updates on Overwatch.